Hello everyone, thank you so much for coming back to my channel MTN Possibilities. Behind me here is an empty space which is within Mkanini area. Mkanini is one of the high density suburbs or western suburbs in Bulawayo. This area here has got a fully functional suburb but there are some spaces which are always have been here which are empty and they've been left aside for schools or any other projects and some of these areas are left just to so we can have other infills or other houses that can be built here so today i want to show you around such areas where we have such empty spaces like this but that have been serviced it's interesting how a setup is started and how it's serviced before even the houses are built. Let's go and I'll show you one of the areas and I'll show you the whole process, how they built the sewer system, the water system. Uh, of course, there is no electricity yet, but the whole sewer system is in service already. So I will show you around. As you can see, there are already these houses outside. They are fully functional, everything is done. These, these houses have been here since the 80s. 90s, I think it was around the 90s when the M Kanini Sepap started. And so there were such empty spaces that were left behind. Now they are putting in some houses in there, but before they have to be fully serviced, before even one house has been to be constructed. I'm sure you've seen such places in a lot of areas in Bulawayo where they are now constructing houses in some infills. I'm sure most of you are then asking how do you get a stand with the Bulawayo City Council. The procedure is quite simple and clear with the Bulawayo City Council. I'll make another video detailing on exactly what you can do to get a stand with the Bulawayo City Council. But the first and most important thing is for you to be in the waiting list. In the meantime, enjoy this video which shows how such an empty space like this can be transformed into a fully serviced residential area. These stands are being serviced with a proper road network system, water, running water, as well as a, a sewer system that's fully functional. They are also close to other the shopping malls as well as other conveniences that one might need. As you can see from the board, the city council then works with these people to, to service the stands for the These stands here are 267, and this is written on the board. We've got over 267 stands here, and they will be serviced with water, sewer, and roads. This is quite interesting. As we are talking about uh, rural development. This is something we can copy from them when we are starting our rural something that's very interesting found in most areas in Bulawayo but uh, it's written here F for fire it's a fire hydrant I have seen that most of the times when the fire people come to a certain area where there is a fire they look for such but most of the times it won't be there because maybe they've fallen off after a long period of time 
might fall off and then be counting some steps from the corner so i think this is what they'll be looking for the fire hydrant this one shows the, the identification for the water pipe that shows where the water is There is an area where everything has been done, which started like this, an empty space, and then the servicing was done, and now the area has been constructed with houses. I will show you how it now looks like. Though they still do, do not have electricity, but the area has got all the other amenities that are needed to make uh, the life comfortable. Thank you so much for watching the video and please come back for more. In this channel, we encourage you to dream whatever you want and achieve it. And I know that most of us have got a dream of owning our own house someday, whether in the urban areas or in the rural areas. So please stay tuned for more information on how you can do that and how you can own your own dream house. <music>